pulse ox screening is a powerful tool in diagnosing congenital heart disease and other life-threatening illnesses in newborns. This test is non-invasive, reliable, and inexpensive. When properly performed, it can alert your child's medical team before possible defects become life-threatening. It does this by measuring the amount of rich, oxygenated blood flowing through your child's body. State law and hospital policy will vary, so check with your doctor and your nursing team to see if the test is standard procedure in your hospital. If not, you may request that the test be performed. There are varying ideas on how to conduct the screening. Your doctor can discuss the details of the test procedure with you and explain the benefits of the system preferred by your hospital. Today, we will be demonstrating the procedure as preferred by the American Academy of Pediatrics. The test should be performed between 24 and 48 hours after birth, allowing time for the infant's body to begin adjusting to life outside its mother's womb. A pulse oximeter machine is used for the test. The nurse places the lead first around your child's right hand and records a reading. Next, the procedure is repeated on either foot. The AAP standard for a pass is that both numbers be 95% or greater, with a difference between them no greater than 3%. If either number is below 95, or if the difference between them is greater than 3, the test is a fail and will be repeated in one hour. If that test is failed, a third will be performed in one additional hour. At that point, a failed test would result in a referral for an echocardiogram to examine the child's heart. If at any point in the testing a reading comes back below 90, an echocardiogram is immediately warranted. This is a powerful tool, but it is by no means a magic bullet. It should be used in conjunction with other medical observation and diagnosis techniques. The diseases this test checks against are rare, but incredibly serious. In all likelihood, your child will pass with flying colors. But this simple, inexpensive test can change the world for those children born with serious heart defects. To put aside the emotional and human toll, in simple dollars, the savings of having one child's heart defect found with this technique and treated before the crisis stage is equal to that of 2,000 screenings. There are a great number of resources available on the web if you would like to learn more about this topic. We encourage you to ask questions, talk to your child's medical team, and insist on a pulse ox test for your newborn.